Okay, so good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we have today with us uh, Ville. Is that good? I pronounce it well? Yeah, that's a pretty pretty good one. It's okay. It's you do pronounce the e. Yeah, it's like the name is a Finnish name, so yeah. people have difficulties to pronounce it well. But uh, yeah. you did it really well. Okay, perfect. So, uh, is that a, a common name in your country? Uh, yeah, when we go back to the end of 80s, almost. Oh, I, I think a lot Ville, of Ville. Yeah, Ville was the actually the most common boy name. I think we uh, Ville Ville name won the competition oh. back in the years I was uh, I was born. So there are a lot of Villes if you go to. Go wow, to Finland. interesting. Yes, maybe I should visit uh, your country. You one should. Of these. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, I just met you Monday, mm -hmm. and I'm glad you accepted the invitation. Of course. And I'm um, happy to have you here. Uh, so it says here that you are the co-founder of Obrella. Yes, I am. Oh, it's not Obrella, it's Brella. It's Brella, yeah. Is yeah. it Brella.com or Brella. Uh, Some, it's Brella.io. That's okay. like a quite typical startup ending. Oh, IO stands for? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like... A International. Yeah. So no? Something like that. Yeah, it's it's just a pretty common. Um, it's more and more common. I see it, it more and more common. And then there are like AI startups, so they have dot AI, so you oh. can see these like okay. little bit creative endings. Oh, nice. okay, yeah. okay. But do you have also dot co? No, no. It's just dot io. No, but did you reserve also the other? No, no, no. no you no. reserved only one. This is this is what we reserved. Because <laughs> for a while, a lot of people were using CO for startup mm, that's true instead of com yeah and now it's io more and more popular yeah it is it is yeah so there's trends yeah it's changing all the time yeah you remember when dot com was the most popular yeah yeah back in quite many years ago but yeah but too many are taken mm. so people get tired of it they go to dot co or dot io yeah all right, so let's talk about you. So well, you are from Finland, right? <laughs> yeah, I am. Have you ever been? No, <laughs> but uh, let me know what uh, about your country. It's a nice country, obviously. Yeah. You, you advanced in uh, tech. Yeah. And um, yeah. are you yourself a software engineer? Uh, I'm actually not. I mean, fin Finland is a really amazing country. It's yeah. it's really beautiful. Uh, yeah. We have four seasons, which is pretty nice, and and I think like one of the most amazing things about Finland is, for example, in two weeks we have twenty four hours light, so the sun doesn't go t down at all. No. Yeah, it's it's like this uh, one season of the of the summer. So one day or one season? I mean, if you go to Lapland, and Lapland is the place where Santa Claus lives. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, okay. he's from Finland. So twenty four hours you stay inside. I mean, you you rather want to stay outside because it's so light, the sun doesn't go down, so it's twenty four hours light. Oh, light! I yeah. thought it was dark. I mean, if you go to the winter time, then it's almost the opposite. So, okay. but this is the most beautiful time of the year. Yeah. Oh, so you get to appreciate the light and you get to appreciate the dark. Yeah, I mean that's that's like Finnish people like the winter is so long. Oh. So when the summer comes, when when the spring they comes, they really enjoy. They're it. like so. It, the Happy. mentality changes. It's like. Wow, they're uh, not depressed anymore. They're not depressed anymore. It's oh wow! It's so sun makes a difference in your mood, right? Definitely, definitely. So, um, but, but but other than that, it's a really nice place to live. People okay. are really happy there. And it's yeah, okay. Yeah, it's a, a small country compared to the bigger one around it, right? Yeah, only five point million? something million people. That's so pretty it's good. quite rare. It's like the barrier. The barrier is even more than that. <laughs> <laughs> the barrier is ten million <laughs> yeah. with all yeah. the surrounding. But anyway, so we glad that uh, even though they don't have too many of you there that they let us use you here in the United States. Mm, yeah. Although and you're here visiting, right? I no, I live here actually. Oh you decided to move here? Yeah I, I did so oh. I'm here I'm based out of here. So okay, I thought you were just here to promote the umbrella. I mean, that's my, of course, my Your main company. main purpose here. But, but I also. <coughs> live here. So, who wrote the app? You, your friend? Yeah, I mean, <coughs> maybe one more thing about Finland before we go to the app. So, 
one great thing about the country is that there are so many engineers. Oh, really? Yeah, like... Um, it's the profession of the, t the time. Yeah, I mean, pe people are really good with building products, uh -huh. building great innovations. Uh, but so they are welcome in the United States. Yeah, they we are. have a shortage. Exactly. So there are like the like average Finnish engineer is like a top notch here in here in states. So really, because yeah. they are good at it. They are really good at it, and and but but the problem that if we talk about what is problem in Finland is that people are really good building products, mm -hmm. but nobody knows how to tell a story. So so many times happens that okay you have amazing innovation, amazing product, but Nobody knows how to explain the value. They know what it is, and that's what they explain, but they don't know w what is the value for some other person. Okay. So, and that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to come to US because we Finnish people are not so good with storytelling. Americans are like amazing storytellers. So, okay. if I if I can be surrounded by people who, who know are how better, to tell a story, so I can I can develop my skills, and that was the one of the main reasons why I came here. Okay, so In what's your story? <laughs> Tell me your story. Yeah, I mean... You have a story, right? I How did you come up with the idea? Um, you mean Brella or...? Yeah, yeah. Or any... I mean, tell me your story. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm, I'm oh yeah, obviously from Finland, but uh, every time when I had enough money, I'd, I was always traveling to other, other countries. So I've been living in seven, eight different countries. And then... And, and one of the reasons why I want, wanted to go to different countries was to learn more about different nationalities, mm -hmm. different cultures. And one trip was to 2010, I went to Spain because I wanted to learn to speak Spanish. Really? Yeah. And I was so lucky that I was living with two Spanish guys and they couldn't speak a word of English. Oh, really? So, I, so I, you learned the language? I learned the language. But then at some point I had this kind of, uh, I mean, I've been always active with doing sports and stuff, yeah, but yeah. one day I had this dream that I want to come to America to improve my storytelling skills because I've been doing sales okay. almost all of my life. Okay. And then I was checking that uh, different schools here, so that's that, that's the easiest way to come here. Okay. And and you know the education in Finland is free, so you don't have to pay. And here you had to pay. Yeah, and it was like really expensive, and then. And who paid? I paid it. I took a loan from the bank. Oh, you took a loan. Okay. Yeah. And like, <coughs> it was funny because when I decided to come here, uh, it was really expensive. So everybody in my family, they were like, what the? What are Why you, you go there? What are you doing? Like, you can get you the can free get education it, yeah. in, in Finland. Yeah. And I was like, well, I just want to go and I want to see, I want to sort of take this. For something else. For something else. And I want to learn. I want to develop. I think this is the right move for me. Okay. So I got accepted to this school here in San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like a computer learning center? It was a business school, actually. Oh, a business school, yeah, okay. Like an MBA, that's MBA. what they call That's good to learn or to start a company. Yeah, it is. It, it helps. And also, like, that school was, there were like a lot of different people all around the world. So building that network was really uh, amazing, amazing thing. So. So uh, during your school, you gathered names of people and stuff. I mean, I I like like I love to learn more about people. Everybody. So, so that's why I I got a lot of good friends from India to Africa to Asia, China, all places, and it's so it's so in interesting to know where they come from, what do they value. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay, so so your social network is very big. Yeah, it is, and and I mean. When I came here, it wasn't, and when okay. I graduated, so I came here to study in in San Francisco, but then I ran out of money because this is so expensive place, so I, need, I didn't take enough loans. So what did you do? So I <coughs> I, I was thinking, about, well, I, have, I, have, I was borrowing money from my friends, like I didn't have any, and then our school had a campus in, in Dubai, so so I was able to switch campuses. I got a job in Singapore. So uh, I went to Dubai. I was working in Singapore. I was uh, going back and forth during my school. I was oh, like, you did? You got a job online? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, it was like event management company. So Nice. And you got the job? Yes, I got the job. Um, so I was working in Singapore. I was studying in Dubai. And I was able to finish my school. I was able to make enough money. that Then I, then I came back to San US. Francisco. Yeah. And uh, to graduate. Okay, so you, you went to school in Dubai and you work in Singapore? Yes, exactly. 
So you do go back and forth? Yeah, yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. During the events, you would go back and forth. Exactly. Yeah. Got it. And had some meetings there. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So, so you have a lot of experience in events. Yes, I do. And that's how you said we got to connect people. Yes, yes. So, so basically, um, sorry. Like, when I was here in San Francisco, I noticed that this is like full of business events. There's so many events going on every day. And, and <coughs> one of the big reasons why people go to these events is that they want to find maybe people, an people like right, right people. Like the right people can be an investor, can be a customer, can be uh, somebody that helps you to find a job, maybe a mentor, but it's always, I'm, I'm looking for something that is meaningful for me. Wow. But there is a problem. They never connect. I mean, like, think about it. If you go to an event with 100 people or 1,000 people. You're going to meet five. You're going to meet five. And you're going to meet five people randomly. So you don't know. You're just going to go and take a look at the batch. Okay, what do you do? Mm. And, and it That's true. I, can, I met maybe just five people at that event. Yes. Luckily, and we met, though. Yeah, yeah. Where we met, I met maybe five, maybe six. But I didn't meet the whole room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a miracle I have met you. <laughs> yeah, it was good, yeah. Um, or did you meet me? Did you approach me or approach you? I don't know. I think we, we were... Bumped into bumped each other? Bumped into each other. It was okay. meant, meant to be, right? Oh, okay then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, so basically, so we built... So Prella is basically a tool that we can match people before the event starts based, uh -huh. on, based on their interest. Mm -hmm. And then they can schedule meetings uh, before the event starts. So when you come to the event, you already you know. You already have an idea. Yeah, that who you know, what time and where. So you will say. Did time. you have my name in there? Uh, you, you weren't uh, signed I was up. just press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the other attendees, you had the name. Yeah, so they were actually 100 people using the tool and they scheduled a little bit over 200 meetings. Oh. So it was really, uh, people were That's really That's why active. people were meeting, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's because of Prell. Thanks to you. And of these 200 meetings, you get a dollar each? No, basically the, uh, we signed the agreement with the event organizer. Yeah. So they. Oh, they are the ones who are, like, accept you in the event. Yes. Okay. And they pay us, it's free for the users. Okay, okay. So it's not based on the number of meetings you organize? No, no, it's not. They, uh, of course, we always try to do as many the meetings maximum. as possible. Because okay. we want to help the organizer to get the most out of it. Because when people are meeting the right people, they get... It's Good a, PR. Yeah, they, yeah, and like also they get a better ROI from the event. Oh, sure. And they will come back. And they come back. Exactly. That's a very, very good strategy because yeah. sometimes you go to an event, you don't meet anybody and you say, I'm not going to go to that event anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same for me, f for network after work. Sometimes I don't go for three, four months because I didn't meet someone the previous month. You, your time is precious. Yeah, so you decide on that basis whether you want to go back to that event or not. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's like, if we think about this, um, <coughs> in in a bigger con context, for example, so everybody talks about yeah we are in B two B business, B two B business. But what I feel it's more about like B two B. So what I mean by this is like people to people. So in order to grow your business, you gotta you gotta connect. You, you have to have like the right team. You have to have your customer base. You have to have uh, investors and. All of these are people, and you have to be able to build the trust. Yeah, yeah. And the events are like such a good. That's why event industry is growing so fast because there is so much like digital stuff in social media. So it's really hard to differentiate yourself and build trust. And that's why people go to events because you can meet face to face. And when you meet face to face, that's the po point when you can actually build trust. Okay, because I was thinking of uh, building a team myself because mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a one woman show. I do everything. Yeah. And it, your thing is good. This way I can search for maybe team members. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I think I already know a few people that I can introduce you to. Cause Do, uh, did you write down uh, the languages also on your app? Uh, you mean like... The language the person speaks? Uh, no, no, we don't have that information. Okay. But we can oh. have that if, if that's... No, because you <coughs> connected me 
with someone who spoke French mm. just because you knew him. But if you didn't know him, you wouldn't have known he spoke French, correct? Yeah, I can make guesses, of course, but it's... Uh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, sometimes I cannot find a guest uh, who speaks French mm. and I have to manually look for one. Okay. I don't have a map that says, hey, here's 10 people who speak French. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I can help you. I know a lot of French people here, oh, okay. so I will introduce you to them, so maybe you will have guests for the next 10, 10 weeks. Oh, good, good, good. So, uh, and if you do that for me, what's the cost? Nothing. I, I just want to help you. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, so there's not a cost per use. This is not like, this is not Brella related. This is just you and me. We are oh, okay, so I'm okay. helping you. Okay, so but for big events, then there is a cost. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, but and Brella took how long to develop? Yeah, so um, the idea was there already a few years ago, but um, we have our tech team in, in Finland. Right. And they, those guys are like superheroes. They are really talented. Uh, uh, app developers? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, one designer, and then we have some other like operational people there as mm -hmm. well. But How did you put your team together? I mean... Uh, uh, meeting them in person? Yeah, I mean, some people you knew. Uh, then did you go to school, universities? Yeah, they, our CEO, he's uh, basically... Uh, my, we were we went to the same high school together. Oh, so you knew each other. Yeah, he's uh, already that those days he was like a genius, and he's he decided okay to uh, to join. He trust trusted me so much that then we decided that. Okay. So you co-founders. Yeah, yeah, and wow. then there's other guys. Those I'm more like the we have like two rather business people and two rather technical people. So oh, I, yeah. I'm not the technical guy at all. I'm I'm more the business. You are the idea guy. Well, I'm more like the people guy, so I'm, I'm going there. Oh, you're going to go people. to the events. Uh, yeah, and meeting people and growing the and business. And find out their needs. Exactly. And, and as you go to those events, you tell the technical team what they need to do. Yeah, I mean, um, usually um, it's, 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 it's a SaaS product, so it, everything is so... When we talk with the event organizer, we collect the information from them and then we build the platform for, oh, for the events. Oh, so it's different so each it, time? Yeah, it's different each time. and, and so, so your developers are always working? They don't have, they, they have built the platform which is all e ready. We are oh. developing it, of course. Oh, so it's, it, it, you can modify it according to the need of the person? Yeah, so for example, every event has a different agenda, it's a different industry, they have different oh. designs. So, I mean, everything is ready. We can just like, it's plug and play. We just add that information. You just Fill in the blanks? Yeah, exactly. It's really easy to use. So there's a template that you developed? Yes, yes. So the template is done, but of course you can always bring something else to it. Yeah. And then the rest is just changing the, f the nature of the event. Yeah, so, so for example, uh, if we are, doing a, we are doing a blockchain event next week, for really? example. So it's very popular now. Yeah, blockchain is crazy. It's it's growing so much and people are talking about it. So what we are tailoring for that event is the matching categories. So obviously it's it's blockchain related. So people define this is what I'm seeking, this is what I'm offering and based on that our algorithm matches them. Then the event agenda we added there based on the speakers and, and the times. And then they have a own Spo list of sponsors which we add there so they can get more exposure they are happy mm. about that and that's and, about and, it and people who want to invest in blockchain they can find someone there yeah exactly they can define that hey i'm an investor i'm looking for this and this style of blockchain companies oh. and our platform will show you will search for a, a, a blockchain company for the person yeah it, it it does it automatically oh automatically it recommends that okay these are the people you should meet oh okay yeah it's really but you don't do research on your own to find this. It, everything is automated. It's like, it's a really smart platform, so it does it automatically. So you type in, this is what I'm looking for, and it shows you the people, hey. Here are the people who are going to be there? Yeah, and who you should meet, ba basically. And then they can schedule meetings. Okay, so is this free download on, on iPhone, or you pay for the uh, app? Yeah, it's free. So, 
Uh, we have iOS, we have Android, and then we also have a web version because we have noticed that not everybody wants to download apps. And, and especially when some people are using this for two or three hours before the event starts, so they want to use it through their computer. Okay. So it's like... Uh, so they can do it on their computer? They can use any device they want. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. whether it's Mac, PC, any, I.O. or... Blackberry, whatever. Yeah, okay. You name it. <laughs> oh, you, I like that expression, yeah. you name yeah. it. All right. But, um, but so, so now, um, at what level do you think the app is at? S beginning level, completely known, or in development? That's a good question. Um, so we started here in the United States a little bit over two years ago. Okay. That time we had four customers or five customers in Finland. So we were really, really small. Oh, okay. And that time when I went to talk to potential customers, they were like, okay, what is this? Do you have any references in the US? And it was a lot of like running around, trying to meet people, trying to get the first references in the US. We were successful and the first year was really tough, like hitting our heads to the wall all the time. The second year like was just a little bit easier, but basically now we've been in business a little bit over two years. So it's picking up? Uh, so this is our second full year in business and now we have over 350 customers in 41 different countries. So it's been growing really, really fast. Oh, good, good, yeah, good. Yeah. So your first big event you did in San Francisco was which one? Uh, it was called Women in Tech. Women in Tech? Yeah, Sil Silicon Valley Forum was the organizer. And they, they say, yes, we want to do it? Yeah, they were the earliest adopt adopter. Thank really? you for them. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, this customers. way you have a, a customer uh, referral. Exactly. And those people, they were really lovely. So, I mean, they understood like what we were doing and they wanted to try it out. We did over 100 meetings within the first event, so they were really happy, mm. of course. So they're going to bring you back. Yeah, <laughs> so we've been doing already uh, three events with them, so they are really happy. And what's the name of your uh, Facebook fan page? It's called, uh, I mean, it, you can type in Brella, Brella Network. Oh, Network, okay. Network, Brella Network. So. Okay, and uh, people click like? Yeah, they can do that. Okay, can we post videos uh, on your on your face fan page? Yeah, of course, if you want. Because we have video people networking at the event I went to. Okay, yeah, I mean, we can we can discuss how we can. No, I can post it. Yeah, yeah, sounds okay. good. Okay, so as soon as a person say I like, they can post. Exactly. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. So it's not a, like a restricted. Uh, uh, privacy kind of no, site. No, no. Oh, it's open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'll post it for you. Um, and uh, what uh, what else we could discuss? Maybe. Um, uh, so once so someone um, organizes an event, they give you access to the people who are going to be there. Actually, not. We don't even need the access for the people. So. Um, that's a good question. So we're basically what happens is that we built this tool. Mm -hmm. It will take like a um, few hours. So it's really easy to set up. Okay. And w why we put a lot of effort into this is because event or organizers life is, is really hectic. So they are running from a panic attack to another because like it's, it's so... We need to fill up the yeah, room. Yeah, everything like it's, it's like in cycles. So yeah, yeah. We, they we need the money for the room. They need the food, they need the people to check exactly. in, so they, they're up to here and things to do. So we had to make this really easy for them, So, and, and we did, so we just collect the information from them, when we have that, we build it for them, our customer success team is really uh, fast, <laughs> so it will take two or three hours and the platform is up and running. And no, but you need to know who is at the event. Uh, we don't actually. So. And this is the interesting part. Oh, people always ask, okay, how, how does it work? So um, when it, the platform is ready, we will give an act like a, it's, it's like a link, a URL for, the, the, event, app, yeah. for, for the event organizer. And we give them communication, like this kind tools. of tools. That, hey, and they do it. So they send out the invitation emails to their attendees that, hey, this year we have decided that uh, we want to help you to find the most meaningful people at this conference. And we have decided to collaborate with this tool called Brella. And they fill in. And here is the link. Click the link, sign in, 
start networking really easy oh. and because like these attendees they trust the event organizers they may have yeah. made they may because they're gonna go yeah 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 so so the topic interests them yes and they're gonna be there exactly like like yourself like you yeah. mentioned that you go to events because you want to maybe find French people right half the time yeah half the time yeah so. sometimes I will look for something else but <laughs> yeah but yeah when I don't have guests that's what I do exactly but uh, yes yeah, so you can you can um, the, the people interested in networking will then access it yes and then enter the information exactly and then the matchmaking algorithm matches them automatically so they don't have to like ask you ask me so there is no like manual processes because that that would take so much time too much for yeah. you to enter 200 meter exactly. by hand yeah so. so for example i give you an example uh <coughs> last year we did a tech crunch disrupt oh event yeah here in san francisco which is quite well known yeah all crunch around the world is very well known yeah so they decided they were looking for different solutions yeah and when they saw us they were like, hey, this is what we want for our conference. Yeah. And, and we did the San Francisco event where we eventually, I mean, the idea was to connect investors to startups. Mm -hmm. uh, and eventually we did uh, 1,270 meetings within three days. Uh, and, and the With TechCrunch? Yeah. That's uh, very good. Yeah, and the, la the year before they were doing everything manually. Mm. So they did uh, like 170 something like that meeting. So we did six times more meetings and they spent 10 times less time because everything was automated. So it was really win-win for everyone. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So, so these, these things are encouraging and you can use them on your PR. Say, hey, look, we have 1,300 on this event exactly. connected. This is an easy sale for you because then they say, "Oh, it was tested and worked." Yeah, yeah, and I, because we have this big goal that we want. Like, there's five million events all around the world. Mm -hmm. Five million events gathers like hundreds of millions of people. Yeah. And imagine if Prella would be in every event. It oh. would mean that we would deliver billions of connections. New connections, and that would mean that. Hundreds, uh, millions of uh, companies would grow are because they're, they're, uh, they're going to be able to find what they're looking for. Exactly, and then like a lot of jobs will be created, more business, more investment. Uh, this will change. This is awesome. This, this is this is change in the industry, and like the industry will grow as well. People will invest more events because they will know that okay, if I invest two thousand yeah. dollars, I I will know that uh, What's I will meet much the right my people. return on my investment. Exactly. Okay, and most people are looking for investors when they are startups, right? But you are right, or customers, or mentors, maybe. Oh, all mentors are looking. F oh, mentors. Yeah, okay, yeah. mentors. People help them get the business off the ground. Yeah, and things like that. So, and you were able. So you were successful there too. Yeah, yeah. Any event we have done, like women in tech, we have done pharma events, we have done finance events. We had done investment type of events. We had done marketing events, and now we are actually doing Salesforce. Uh, one day, one day. Dreamforce is yeah. big. Dreamforce. Listen to me now. We can we now. Can yeah, now have proof it's working. It, it's working. But in Dreamforce, I think we could do like close to uh, hundred thousand meetings. I'm, I'm oh yeah, because so it's big. It's so huge. But uh, it's interesting that we are now in San Francisco. This is like the tech. Uh, capital of the world, right? Yeah, yeah. Every, this is the place of early adopters, and you would think that solution like this is it's okay. going to catch up. Yeah, and it has. But the funny fact is that I mentioned a while ago that we are in 41 different countries. So um, just a few weeks ago, we got a customer in Zambia, in Africa, okay. and we have got a lot of customers in in Africa, and. And the results have been great, so people are using it to the fullest. And it's so great to see that not that this this is not the only place where is the big need for this, oh. but also like. But is your app geographical? Um, so that means if I'm looking for someone in United States, then will the, your app narrow it to United States? Um, basically, like how it works is that. It's the event related, 
so you can oh, see oh you can see the location yeah 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 but uh, you I, you can but but the app will collect connection from only the US well uh, if the event is in US but if they have participants from Europe of course then there will be also Europe yeah so okay yeah and like we have like a LinkedIn integration so then you can see the location also yeah 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 you can go and see. but the the apps pick up the location uh, I mean before they do the matching uh, not necessarily it's not necessary because like um, because those people are coming to the same event mm -hmm. so they are just like oh connecting. they're gonna be there anyway yeah, right so <laughs> they're gonna be there the location is not that important important if okay. you know what I okay okay no because you said that people can enter what they're looking for on your app mm -hmm. and do they have to enter where they want that person to be no it's basically like it's event related so if it's TechCrunch these people have already bought the ticket to ticket TechCrunch in San Francisco and they okay. will come there okay. if it's a some event in Zambia the people have bought the ticket to that event so they will be there for two days okay if it's an event in Germany then it's the same then same that's situation. where the the app will go for exactly yeah yeah so okay 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 it's not just an app for anywhere it's it's not like a general app at the moment it's really event specific no no but that's good because yeah. that's what people want they want to meet in person right exactly exactly yeah the 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 app for meetup.com is very popular mm. because People didn't meet in person anymore. They were in front of their computers. Exactly. So they it answered the need. But you, you're doing reverse. People are meeting, but they don't want to connect. You're mm. doing what's uh, at the need of the meetup. Yeah. I mean, meetup is a great concept, and I think they do like 250,000 events all around the world. Right. And <coughs> we could work together with But them. when you go to the event, then you come in to connect. Yeah. So we could work together with them and we could help them to connect their community mm. and we will do that one day. Oh, okay, okay, because they're huge now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are in your country too? Yeah. A I little bit? In Finland, yeah, they are. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you gotta yeah, start. I, I think they're everywhere. No, no, but you gotta start at home, see if it works first. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, but, do, uh, but because of the nature of the weather in your country, people don't uh, network until the summer that's a good point that's a really good point uh, so like we have noticed this cultural differences so <coughs> for it's example, not all year yeah so Finnish people like uh, they are quite shy and yeah. they are like uh, quite reserved in a way that if, if somebody goes and talk to them they're like okay what do you want uh, from me? what you do know? you want from me what do you want from me it's not like oh let's find out how we can work together so that's the Finnish culture okay and in America, it's totally different. So mm. people, when they meet, they are first look, trying to find out, okay, how, how can we work together? Okay. And people are really Collaborate, active. yeah. Networking and small talking is like... It's part of the culture. All the part of the culture when they were born. So they get it from through the milk uh, when they... No, well, but uh, so in Finland, Prella is good because it helps people to break the ice. So, oh. so they can easily connect and when they come to the event, they, they, they can know. find someone. And there are many similar countries, like maybe Swedish people are a little bit like that. They're not that they're, shy. They're, they're shy? Uh, they're not that, but you know, Nordic countries, they are a little bit reserved. So if you go and talk to them, people are, might be a little bit like, okay, what do you want from me? Mm -hmm. For example, um, I've been here for three and a half years. And when I go back to Finland, I'm a little bit Americanized in a way that uh, I go to a supermarket. Let's mm -hmm. imagine I go to a supermarket, I buy, uh, I buy a, an avocado. Then I go to the teller, like I'm buying it. And then I say, hey, how are you doing in Finnish, of course? Mm -hmm. And they're like, what? What, what, are you, what, do, what do you want from me? But because nobody does that. But then after a while, they just kind of relax. They go, oh, really not. It's so nice that you asked. But <coughs> long story, story short is that in America, how Prella helps people is that people are so active networking, but usually they are spending their time in wrong conversations. So in, in Prella, they can basically sift through the, and talk to the right people at those events. So oh, wow. Yeah, spend their time. Do you have right. more customers in your country? Uh, actually, we have or almost 95% of the events are using us 
in Finland. So the market coverage is almost 100. It's already got it. Yeah. So US is an open territory for you? It is, it is. Oh my God. But but actually half of our revenue is coming already from the US. So it's okay. growing super fast. Oh, it is going? And the funny fact is that people always ask, how do you get new customers? By and phone. That's that's one thing. Of course, we need to do cold calling. Cold calling is not dead. No, no, and you I need to do people, it. I, I love when people say cold calling is dead because it's it, not true. It, Certain profession, but not all. No, no. So less people are doing it. And when I do it, I have more. You got to pick up the phone. <laughs> yeah. But um, but we've been really lucky because our tech team, they have built a really good product and ah. people like to use it. They can take it five to ten meetings per event. And when they go to the next event, they're like, okay, they don't have Brella. And I don't want to go th go there because... Because I don't have Brella. They have had the experience already once or twice that, hey, we can I can get these meetings with so the right So we people. don't want it to go if there is no Brella. Yeah, so do you know, guess what they do? They have to get it. Yes, yeah, so they are referring Brella to these event organizers that, hey, you should oh, use Oh, yeah, this. they refer it, yeah. yeah. So we get like 15 to 20 inbound leads per week. So you don't... It's just through word of mouth. Oh, really? Yeah, so and that, that's quite rare because B2B SaaS companies don't usually get that many leads. So we've been really, really... Do you have testimonies on your website? Yes, we do. You, you can check it out. Oh, okay. I, I didn't check it out. I apologize. <laughs> no worries. Okay, because people give me a lot of cars. I get a lot of cars yeah. and I don't check all the websites. I, I, I'm, oh. I'm the same. Okay, I occasionally I check if I talk to the person like I'm talking to you now. Yeah. But if I don't have a more than a minute conversation i do not check mm. but we do like i had already what uh, 36 minutes so i will check <laughs> yeah that's cute <laughs> yeah you gotta have more of a connection with the person before you're really interested in their yeah. what they're doing right i think like what i've noticed that when i've when i've been going to events and talking to people it's like uh it's so important to build trust and okay if, like this is what i what i'm thinking about that uh, first, you kind of need to help the other person somehow. In uh, some way. Some way. And, and then they will refer you. Yeah, because when you help people, they will trust you. Oh, and it's reciprocal. And when they trust you, they want to help you. And that's, that's how... Yeah, that's it's how called the reciprocal relationship. Exactly. And so. that's, that, that's the best way to build like strong relationships. Yeah. It's a good way to go. Uh, you, so you had a taste for building relationships since you were young? I mean... Since you were in college? Yeah, I mean, my dad is an amazing person. He's like really like a sunshine. He loves to talk to people. He's really? Yeah, he's, he's like that. Oh, he's, he, he goes out there and talks? He's like me, but he's, he's from this little village. So he, yeah. he's doing the same in the real little village that I'm doing on all the around on the world. On, on, on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay, he connects people. He loves people and he's like helping people. So. I get that from from there. Also, my mom is like really like uh, social. Love, love social. So she's social. Okay. I get that from there. But then I've been living in Argentina, Spain, so kind of like oh, they're warmer people. Yeah, so warmer and like trying to. I'm just generally curious about people. Mm. That's, that's well, me. that's good. That's good. Although you're not the marketing manager, are you? No, uh, I'm not. <laughs> no. So you're not the one who picks up the phone. Uh, I, I can be that as well. I can be anything. So I have a lot, oh, ha lot of hats. Oh, okay, okay. It's because you're the founder. Yeah, it's in startup, it's like it's like this. You so. do a lot of things. So you go to the event and you as well contact potential customers. Yeah, and investors and like anything we do. We are now 16, one six. So the team has been growing really fast. Okay. But still, like even though people have roles, then you have a lot of responsibilities to. So there's two here and fourteen in Finland. Uh, actually, one here, which is which is this you. Is this, this oh, guy. you're by yourself. I'm by myself, <laughs> uh, but um, I have a lot of friends, so oh, I'm that's happy. Good. And and then um, there's two people in New York, and then there's um, thirteen in Finland. Oh, 13 in Finland. Yeah. But that no, makes sense. But we are hiring at the moment, so... What are you hiring? Uh, we are hiring some salespeople here in... Yeah, I US can do and, it. And customer success people. I, c I can do it. Okay, we, we should have an interview. <laughs> <laughs> Just... I don't know. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, it's good. It's good, we could. Um, so, I like the idea because I go to networking. Mm. And, as a matter of fact, 
I was wondering if someone has boxes of business cards, would you uh, input them in your? No, no we don't. That's do that. not it. No, no, that's not it. It's just per event. Event helping people, helping the right people to meet at business events. Okay. That's okay. helping them to grow their network. Yeah, that's good uh, in a way because when you have old business cards, they all outdated because people change jobs every two years, right? Yeah, yeah. They are organic uh, contacts. Exactly. So, but do you with you, you have always the right new contact. Mm -hmm. And we know what so they're So it's much for. better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, got it. So... Um, uh, we, we are actually now doing events in France. Oh, you are? Yeah. Where? Where? In Paris. You started one. Uh, yeah, we've done a few already. And be, be, people seem to like it there also in France. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They do a lot of Toastmasters in France. What is a Toastmaster? You know, Toastmaster where you learn how to speak in public. Ah, oh, okay. A public speaking uh, meetups. Mm -hmm. And it's very popular in Paris because people talk and they do a two minute presentation, five minute presentation, and they get to know each other over the weeks that they participate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but. Uh, they do like to socialize in France. Mm -hmm. So yours will be in Paris? Yeah, we are doing some events now in Paris. It's like a lot of more, we are getting more requests all the time. Okay. We don't have it in French yet, but people don't. They, they will, they will, the good news for you is that all French people understand English. Yeah, I know, I know. They're that, really good with English. Yeah, they, that shouldn't be a barrier mm -hmm. for them. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the first language they learn after French. Yeah, and French people like my name. They do? Yeah. Oh, because it means uh, a home. Yeah. <laughs> it means home, home in, in France. Oh, okay. Ville. Yeah, villa means a home, you know, a beautiful home. Beautiful, is it really like beautiful? Like Yeah, yeah, it means a beautiful uh, house. Oh, okay, okay. A beautiful house with a garden, villa. <laughs> okay, so so yeah, you, just your name means that you are gathering people uh, somewhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you were meant to do this. I'm, um, I'm meant to, this is my why. This is your why? Mm. It is good, why? So, okay, let's recap here. Yes. So. Y your friend had the idea or you had the idea? Uh, we, we had the idea together. Together? Yeah, I mean, the friend, my, the CEO had the idea. He was the first who, who had this idea and then we started. And because you went to event, you did it together? Yes, yes, yes. And he was, he's, he's like genius, so he had this idea. Uh, oh, he is the, the, the engineer? Y yeah. He's the Show engineer. us the app, but you real quick. Do you have the phone on you? Yeah, I do, I do. How can we show it? I can show it. Go ahead, show, put it in front of your... See, see your t-shirt? Mm -hmm. Put it in front of you. Okay. So... Here it is. Can we see it? Uh, yeah, I, I can see it. Yeah, so here you can see these different events. Yeah. Uh, let's let's pick this one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is these are events like where I'm going to. So this is my personal like list of oh, events. Oh, okay, okay. So the first thing what the app does is that it's asking that what are you what are you seeking at this event? Okay, so do this a little uh, because there's a light on it. I think yeah, like that. Le no, no, the other way. Uh, to uh, yeah, that's it. Now we can see it. Okay. Now we can see it very good. So this is uh, I don't know if. People can see. But I can anyways, see. I can see. So people can check what what are they looking for, mm -hmm. and then based on their interest, it's showing the people that they should meet. Oh. S and let's try to book a meeting with. Book her. a meeting, and they so will book it. So it will open the event agenda, and it will show where are they gonna be. Uh, yeah, not exactly, but they're gonna show that when they are available. So that's oh. what we want to know first, and then we can personalize my message or why oh. I want to meet. Hi, I want to meet you because. And then I can send it out. And and this is all done automatically. Everything. And then when, when, when the other person accepts the request, yeah. um, this app notifies and it gives a location as well. So we do like a networking area at the yeah. end. Yeah. So it's easy for us to meet. We don't have to like wonder uh, w where do we meet. So that was wow. a quick, quick, fast demo. Mm, awesome. Okay, at least we saw how to do it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, the, the, it's it's a very simple simple app, mm. and you just put what you're looking for, where you when you'll be available, and there connect. 
And what's the percentage who keep their appointment? About 80 percent? It's, it's almost 100 because like because um, we have also a chat functionality, so sometimes people are late from the meeting, so okay. they can chat. Hey, they I'll can. So let let's meet a little bit later. So they oh. usually they usually. Read. Oh, that's good. The chat is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, so you think about everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like the main main thing is that we try to create something what is easy to use. If you okay. if you take a look at the apps on the market, the user experience is usually from 1995. And it's like there's so many functionalities which is difficult to use. Yeah. And we just try to make this easy and beautiful and because people like to use beautiful stuff. That's like the like human behavior thing. Of course, of yeah. course. The app is very, very well presented. Mm -hmm. Very good taste. The also the logo, do you have a good uh, designer? Yeah, he's amazing. He's he does the design of everything. Yeah, he he designs the app, he designs the web, and like he's a super talented guy. So. Oh, good. And this is, Did this you is find good. him at school too? Um, I think uh, yes, kind of. Yeah, true friends, true mutual friends. Yeah. But do you know we went to the Olympics? Well, I haven't been there yet, but one day. But if you look at the logo, so we went to this Women in Tech yeah. conference. Yeah. So do you know what they said? Mm. They said that this should be the most gender equal logo in the world. Yeah. This is two rings, they con they connected them. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought about the Olympics, you know, they have the rings. Well, that, if you, that's, that could be. Everybody the, think what they want, every, right? Everybody thinks what they want. <laughs> okay. we, are, we are all individuals. Oh, gender equality. I never thought about that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. All right, so uh, I think people understand that they go to their app store and download it, and then if they go to an event where Brilla is, then oh, yeah, the event tell them. Yeah, they will. They will be notified. The, yeah. the the event will let them know. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So thank you so much. You have been wonderful. I enjoyed talking to you. Uh, it has been a great interview. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was really nice to be here today. Thank you.